Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn to Live. This video is based on the topic IR spectroscopy and principle. IR spectroscopy. IR spectroscopy stands for infrared spectroscopy, but it is also known as vibrational spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy deals with the interaction of infrared radiations with matter by absorption, emission or reflection. It is used to study and identify chemical substances or functional groups in solid, liquid or gaseous forms. Now let us learn the principle behind IR spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy exploits the fact that molecules absorb frequencies that are characteristics of their structure. These absorptions occurs at resonant frequencies, that is, when the frequency of absorbed radiation matches the vibrational frequency. IR spectroscopy involves transition between vibrational energy levels of a molecule. These transitions take place by absorbing IR radiations falling in the range 500 to 4000 cm raised to minus 1. Now, according to the principle of IR spectroscopy, if a molecule is exposed to infrared radiation that matches the frequency of one of its vibrational modes, it will in most case absorb energy from the radiation and jump to a higher vibrational energy state. The difference in energy between the two vibrational states is equal to the energy associated with the wavelength of radiation that was absorbed. But it must be noted that some bonds absorb infrared light more strongly than others and some bonds do not absorb at all. Because in order for a vibrational mode to absorb infrared light, it must result in a periodic change in the dipole moment of the molecule. For example, molecules like HCl, H2O and CS3Cl, there is a dipole moment change. Thus, they are called vibrationally active molecules. Whereas, molecules like C2H2, C2H4 does not change the dipole moment. Therefore, they are called vibrationally inactive molecule. So students, this is the end of this video. Do subscribe, like and share this channel. Press the bell icon to get instant notifications.